Hello. I mainly take pictures of the sky at night, but when I, whenever I go out to do visual astronomy, I end up having to use a, a handlebar mount or a yoke mount. Now, I don't really like either one of those. I've noticed old timers use something called a Vixa Horta mount. Uh, it's an alt azimuth mount with slow motion controls on both axes. So I did some research to see what I could find. I found the um, Skywatcher AZ-5 cost $425 for the mount and the tripod and could, it could handle 25, uh, 20 pounds. I didn't need anything that heavy because the optical tubes I wanted to use are kind of light. I then found a Vixa Porta, Vixen Porta 2 mount for $545. Uh, it can handle 15 pounds, and I guess that's the one that most of the old timers are using. Uh, $545 is a lot of money just for a, an, an, a, a, an alt, azimuth, alt azimuth manual mount. You just stop by a go to mount for that. I, I kept researching though because I really wanted to find something and I eventually found a SD Boney 225 mount. It looks just like a Vixen Porta 2, but instead of handling 15 pounds, it can handle 20 pounds. That cost $219. That with a, a tripod, and that's a lot less than $545. So I thought, ah, I've owned, I, I have a lot of SV Boney products. They make premium quality products, telescopes, filters, uh, various other accessories at a budget price. Maybe I should get one of those. I was, uh, I was about to pull the trigger on that when I noticed that there was also an SV Boney 225 Mini which cost less. It was missing the control bar. Instead, you just push the telescope around. That could only handle 11 pounds. I thought, well, that would be adequate for my needs. I'll get one of those. I didn't, though. I found something I liked even better. I'll show it to you. Well, package just arrived from Amazon. And inside the package is a box. And inside the box are three more boxes. One of them says accessories, the other one telescope, and the last one tripod. Oh, and there's a, a little instruction book here that says SV520 telescope manual. I wonder what's in there. Well, in the box it says accessories, there appear to be a bunch of telescope accessories and a telescope mount. In the box it says telescope, there appears to be a telescope optical tube. And in the box it says tripod, there appears to be a tripod. Well, here it is, all assembled. It is the SV Boney 520 telescope. It has some really unique features for its cost. Now, this is currently retailing for $234. I bought it last week when it was on sale for $199. Uh, let me show you some of the features, starting with the uh, optical tube. It has a plastic cover. And I frequently have to put a, a piece of tape on these things to keep them to stay on. On this one, struggle to take it off. It's tight. It'll last a long time. It has a removable dew shield, a 90 millimeter uh, aperture, the width of the uh, objective lens, the big lens in the front. It has an 800 millimeter focal length 
which gives us about an 8.9 uh, focal ratio, F8.9. You never find this in an introductory telescope. It ha it's not only fully coated, it's double coated, and the interior of the, of the optical tube is painted flat and black, and it has four light baffles. We're talking premium quality here. Um, it's an all metal spokesman uh, tube. You don't find all metal folkstein tube on any of the introductory telescopes nowadays. It matters because when it gets cold outside, plastic gets brittle and ends up breaking. And that's a severe problem with introductory type telescopes. It has a uh, nice focuser here with a gradient on it and something you never find on introductory level telescopes. It has compression rings. Normally, when uh, the thumb screws screw straight into the diagonal or eyepiece or camera, whatever you have, and they can mar it. This has compression rings. So when you screw it and tighten it down, the ring tightens down. So you end up not marring uh, whatever you're sticking in there. It also has a uh, a standard foot for your finder scopes. A lot of introductory telescopes don't have a standard foot for the finder scope. Um, comes with a 90 degree diagonal, a 25 millimeter Kelmer, Kelmer eyepiece, and a 10 millimeter flop of eyepiece. You get two eyepieces. The uh, magnification of a telescope is determined by the focal length of the optical tube, in this case 800, divided by the focal length of the eyepiece. 25 goes into 800 uh, about 32 times. And if you're using the 10 millimeter eyepiece, 10 goes into 880 times. So with this eyepiece, you get 32 magnification. Here, you get 80 magnification. It also comes with a uh, times two Barlow lens, which doubles the magnification. You put the eyepiece in the Barlow lens and put the Barlow lens into the diagonal. It comes with a uh, Allen wrench. The bottom of the uh, telescope has a, a place where you stick this Allen wrench in to tighten it up to hold the tripod on. First thing I did when I got this was to replace the Allen screw down here with a, uh, a number six thumb screw. Um, yeah. Oh. And it comes with this thing. You stick your telephone in here, sideways, and then you load up your favorite uh, astronomical pointing software, and it will help you see where everything is in the sky. So if you want to see Andromeda uh, around, if you want to see Andromeda right now, you have to go right there because that's where Andromeda is going to rise. And it would show you that on the phone. You have to get your own software. Lockdown screw, which locks your telescope into the mount, has a second lock screw. So, in case you're out in the dark and you accidentally fumble and loosen this one, you have a backup. You don't usually find that on a low end introductory scope. The mount itself. is really a copy of the SV Boney 225 Mini. Uh, there are four bolts here, or four, uh, hex bolts, and if you take them out, you can swap this out. So right, right now it's set for a uh, 
a right side uh, finder scope. You can swap this out to make it set to a left side finder scope. And you can also change the location, the uh, angle at which your vertical slow motion control is set. You can do the same thing over here with your uh, with your horizontal slow motion control. The way this thing works is you point the scope at what you want, or near it at least, lock it down. That locks the vertical, that locks the horizontal. Uh, and then you can use your slow motion control to zero in. And once you're on the target, you can easily follow the target by using the slow motion control. I tried this shift mount. It's too cloudy to go outside. But I tried this mount and the optical tube yesterday on the um, uh, a, a lamp. A few blocks from here, there's a door and a window and a little uh, night light above it. I use that for testing different things. And I could find, I could see the, the door through the finder scope. So I put it on the door and then use the slow motion controls to move up. There's the window, move up. There's the little night light. The slow motion controls are really, really nice. You need those for fine adjustment and staying on target. Works a lot better than it does on a, a handlebar mount and infinitely better than it does with the yoke mount. So for a couple hundred bucks, you're getting a really good mount and a very good optical tube. Uh, this is a bargain. In fact, I believe this is the best beginner's telescope available in 2025. Better than anything else I've seen, better than anything else I've read about. Uh, if you got $225 and you're a beginner and you want a telescope, this is the one to buy. Um, you can watch some other reviews. They'll probably point out things I missed. There are some things I would switch out really, relatively soon. One is the finder scope. Right now at, on Amazon, as of this morning, you can buy this telescope for 234 or you can buy this telescope with an additional finder scope for 215 That's That bundle is still on sale. <coughs> the, what the bundle, the, uh, it's bundled with a red dot finder. This is the most popular finder scope around. Everybody loves them. Everybody uses them. I like it. I like these. Uh, if I'm looking level, but when I'm looking up, I can't bend down that far. So I use this. Oh, since it's a standard finder scope holder, you can put any of these finder scopes on it. A 90 degree finder scope. That way I can look at it from above. I can look at it from below if I'm sitting. And uh, it's uh, 50 millimeter by 9 magnification. It's a small telescope. Now everybody has $90 to spend on that. SB Boney makes a smaller one <coughs> for $53. And uh, Sky Optics sells this one on eBay for $35. It's also white. goes with the uh, color of the optical tube. So I would replace that where I you and had this. Other thing I would replace would be the uh, diagonal. I don't much like this diagonal. One, it doesn't have compression rings. So it will mar anything you stick in there. And two, it's all made of plastic. For 20, 25 extra dollars, you get one like this. It's all metal. It has compression rings, so it won't mar the eyepiece you stick in. And the metal part here when you stick in here, will hold tighter. Uh, other than the finder scope and the diagonal, about all I'd replace. 
I don't do a lot of visual astronomy. Uh, a fair number of, the, of my subscribers do. So hopefully they will put down in the comments their favorite uh, eyepiece uh, or diagonal to replace the ones that came with this. Since this is introductory, someone wants, wanted to see a, a dielectric diagonal. Well, I don't have one of those. You can buy them for like $40. They may have a brand name in mind. And there's people that like to buy $50, $100, $150 eyepieces, which will give you a much better view. And uh, maybe they can put some suggestions down in the comment section. And that's my thoughts on the brand new, just out, not long ago, uh, SV Boney 250 uh, telescope. It's a good bargain. It's uh, is every absolutely everything you need to start in the hobby. Oh, also comes with a moon filter. Where's the moon filter? That's an extra screw. Somewhere here is the moon filter. Oh, <laughs> with more than just the moon filter. Comes with a moon filter. When you're looking at the moon uh, or a bright planet, you can't see any detail. It's all lighted out. This will help a lot. And comes with this gizmo. You can put your eyepiece in there, put your cell phone on here, and then stick the eyepiece into the diagonal and take a picture. And in case, you, uh, in case you're heavy handed and don't want to push the take the picture button, comes with this Bluetooth thing, the, uh, Bluetooth thing that will automatically take the picture for you. I got a lot of stuff with it. So many things I forgot some of them. Um, good scope. Outstanding price. And you get a lot for your money. So if there's one thing I absolutely would tell you to buy this year, this is it. Uh, and that's all I had to say. So until I see you again, happy trails.